If you have always wanted to one-up your peers with a dive watch that can go to the bottom of the known existing depths, then you are in luck now. In 2019, the Five Deeps Expedition Team, headed by Victor Vescovo, worked with Omega to create a timepiece out of titanium from a submersible that could literally go to the deepest place on Earth and still function. And then they actually strapped it to an arm on a submarine and took it to the deepest place on Earth and it survived four times. While that version that they use is not for sale, it is translated into a public collection called the Ultra Deep. And today's piece is the Omega Steel version with the white dial and blue bezel, which is more so what Omega has learned and incorporated into its standard lineup from the original version versus the titanium version, which is actually more true to form. This piece is not just a beefy planet ocean either. It has a whole slew of changes that really set it apart including the proprietary Omega Steel construction. Are you ready to put a watch on that can go down 20,000 feet deep on your wrist and brag to your friends about it? Or will this just be a big, powerful looking thing that's totally overwhelming to you? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Longines Spirit 37 mm to give you all a great smaller case watch option to check out. This piece packs most of the same punch as the larger Spirit models and is a great aviation inspired piece. I recommend checking this one out if you have enjoyed the Spirit, but it's just been a little bit large for you. Wrist check time, today I'm wearing my Omega No Time To Die Seamaster, which I just took on a trip to Colorado Springs and it not only survived the 6,500 foot elevation, but it was very comfortable throughout the whole trip through all of the airports. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Omega Seamaster Omega Steel Ultra Deep has a 45.2 millimeter case width, an 18 millimeter thickness, a 51.5 millimeter lug to lug, a 21.8 millimeter lug width, a 32.1 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 254.38 grams. The case is made out of Omega Steel, which is a new high-performance stainless steel alloy. Through the pressure electro-slag remelting process, the material obtains a high purity, allowing for greater polish and incomparable shine. Stripped of its nickel and boosted with nitrogen and manganese, Omega Steel offers a brighter white color, as well as a superior strength and hardness that is 40% to 50% higher than conventional steel, as well as being non-ferromagnetic. The unique composition also delivers exceptional resistance to corrosion for a longer lasting appearance. And I think the most important part for you is that Omega Steel is hypoallergenic. It has matte finished lug tops with a large swooping bevel of high polish on the edges and solid matte finish on the sides. The crown is absolutely a screw down with large bevels for each grip and the Omega logo at the top. The domed crystal protrudes above the bezel slightly and is one of the thickest sapphire crystals at 5.2 millimeters thick. The bezel has a blue ceramic polished insert with a diving scale in white enamel. Now let's see how this bezel performs. This is of course a top tier bezel. It has a great level of tension and it's easy to grip. Much easier to grip than my Seamaster Professional, I might add. The dial is lacquered and is in a pure white tone. The markers are in 18 karat white gold and are long and trapezoidal, besides the smaller versions, which are paired with blue Arabic numerals at the 12, 3, 6, and 9, and a black minute grade in between each marker. Omega and the Omega logo and Professional can be found at the top middle portion with Seamaster in between them. The hour and minute hands are also in 18 karat white gold and are aero style with an 18 karat white gold second hand as well. 
Ultra Deep can be found at the bottom middle portion in blue and 6,000 M slash 20,000 feet in black below it. No date complication is present on this piece. Loom can be found on all dial markers, the pip on the bezel, and the hour and minute hands in separate colors. The case back is closed and has the Seamaster logo, but with sonar emanating from the center of it as a nod to how the Five Deeps expedition used sonar to find the deepest point in the ocean. The movement is the 8912 caliber, which is a no-date version of the 8900 caliber, and is an automatic coaxial escapement that provides a six to eight year service interval versus the three to five that you typically see. It is a certified master chronometer, which means that it has been meta certified to be accurate from zero to five seconds per day. It is resistant to magnetic fields up to 15,000 gauss, which is equivalent to an MRI machine, and it has a 60 hour power reserve. The bracelet is unique to the ultra deep line and is a matte finished three link design with thick beveled edges of high polish. It has a gold bar style new clasp with the Omega logo engraved onto it and an integrated push to micro adjust feature. The Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Ultra Deep Omega Steel version is 6,000 meter water resistant and is ready to conquer the ocean depths or your desk paperwork for $12,000. Now for my personal opinion. Most of you have heard about the titanium version and that one is the closest to true to form as you can get but this version is for the consumer. You aren't bound to a NATO strap specifically here, and the bracelet is very high quality with a great finish, a new buckle, and a push to micro adjust. Although it is still a thick watch, it looks more normal on my six and a half inch wrist with this bracelet instead of the NATO, which makes it even taller. And if you're just looking straight down at this piece from the top, it looks pretty good actually, just beefy and strong like it's supposed to. I have to say the Omega steel is just gorgeous and maybe that is contributing to the overall premium feel of this piece. Plus, I like the fact that it's hypoallergenic, which means nobody will get a rash from this. The color on this piece lets you know that this is an ultra deep right away and it sets it apart from the standard Planet Oceans and Seamasters. I think that this is a really fun and eye-catching piece that has a great level of quality and detail on it. And if you're after one of the top dive watches that exists spec wise, then you may want to pick this one up. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.